हेलो हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो ओबर्ट दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल दो इट्स रिटर्न एग्जैक्टली हार्ड हेयर बट 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 इट्स नॉट एट ऑल हार्ड इफ यू नो बेसिक मैथ्स और एज एन एज ए बेसिक आई मीन लाइक अ फ्यू कंसेप्ट ऑफ मैथ्स आई एम गोन स्पीक दैट कंसेप्ट please uh, skip this video if you want to get the intuition but if you want if you know the basic concepts of pnc then please try it by yourself it's it's very 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 kind of uh, okay sure to do it i mean not that hard not that easy but yeah medium ish uh, cool uh, let's quickly jump on the problem paper and says count all the valid pickup and delivery options now what we are having is we are having n orders now each order consists in a pickup and a delivery service so basically if i say i have n orders i will have basically 2 into n points where n points are pickup points and n points are delivery points cool um count we have to count all valid pickup and delivery possible sequence such that such that delivery of i is always after pickup of i which means as i showed you i will have n pickup and delivery options let's name it as p1 p2 up till pn and d1 d2 up till dn so the prime thing is that as i showed you let's say if i have only one as a delivery option so it can be p1 d1 or it can be also d1 p1 but for us the main condition is that for sure d1 should come after p1 right so delivery service of one it should come in after the pickup service of one and that's what the entire stuff is based on let's go quickly have a jump at the examples and see how the examples look like as i showed you for n equal to 1 we have only one option and we just have to get the number of ways or the number of options that okay how many such combinations or sequences are possible for pickup and delivery of those n points such that pickup is before delivery Cool. As we saw that for one, which means one pickup and one delivery, we have only one valid option, which is P one and D one, and that's itself is showing the problem itself. Now we can also go and thoroughly see, okay, for n equal to what all options can be made. But assuming, assuming that, okay, let's assume we know, and in the example itself, it's not given how to find for n equal to three, and not all ninety options are given. So let's assume that, okay. as we can see we can just build off a problem so we have n equal to 2 as the number of options the number of ways and see when i when like when we have to ever find the number of ways it just keeps on adding up as in okay number of ways if i have uh, the number of ways to actually arrange or basically get the sequence of two pickup and delivery options and then and i need to have all three Right, I can't. I can't see, na, ki for n equal to three, which means I need to have three pickup and three delivery options. So n equal to two, which means for two pickup and delivery options, I have six ways, and for sure I need to have my third pickup and delivery also. So six ways will for sure come. And when I say for sure, I mean okay, it's not an or option. It's an option, which means for placing or basically for arranging my third pickup and delivery after this after this two pickup and delivery again it is two pickup and deliveries being done it is a number of ways for this and that i did not do anything for it i just picked up from the above example now as we have to do all three deliveries two are all done now we have to do the third delivery third delivery and that in and for sure we have to do all the deliveries that's the reason we multiplied it so maybe we can just find out the number of ways what if i do the third delivery after two deliveries are already done and that's what we're going to actually go and find to see how we can build an example again uh, we will use our example to actually reach to a, reach to a conclusion but meanwhile we'll also parallelly start building in terms of n because ultimately numbers is just for your understanding but actual n are to actually write in the code itself so as we showed that okay we will just go for and see for n equal to 3 right and for sure uh, we assume that n minus 1 pair will always already be present and we would have computed that its value and when i say n minus 1 pairs it internally automatically means that it will have n minus 1 into 2 points cool now again uh, just assuming i just took any of the above random sequence of 
and then I will place my third pair. When I say pair, I mean I will have to place P3 and then I will place a D2. Or I can also place it in any order whatsoever I want. It's just that I will need to maintain a condition that okay, P3 is always before and P3 is always after. Let's see how we can do that. So firstly, we saw that okay, we will have these four points from the previous n equal to 2. Again, I am saying for n equal for I have two pairs already, so I will have four points. And as you can easily see, I have four points for two pairs. Again, for those four points, I will have how many spaces left? And as you can see, after each point, I will have a space to actually place another point. So basically, now my task is to place a P3 and a D3. I will place it sequentially. Firstly, I will try to place a P3. Now, as I showed you, to place a P3, I need to know the number of spaces of where basically I can place these particular points. Okay, that's actually one this, one this, one this, and one this. Um, but uh, you saw there's also one more available. So if I know actually, okay, I have these n minus one points. So n minus one pairs. So ultimately, I will have n minus one into two points. Again, if I have n minus one pairs. I will have n minus 1 into 2 points. Okay, for these n minus 1 into 2 points, I will have a corresponding space for them. But one extra space will always be like will also be there. So for that, I add a 1. So ultimately, what we saw of that we got of a 2 into n minus 2, which is actually a 2 into n minus 1. But still, right now we have only placed a P3. Now we okay now we have placed a p3 now right okay p3 is placed p3 is placed done set now i have to place a d3 now considering i don't have any condition whatsoever at all how many number of locations or positions are there to actually place a p3 so as to actually place a d3 d3 i'm gonna place now so when i have placed a p3 now the number of spaces have increased Earlier, we saw that for every point existingly, we had a one space, but now we have two more spaces. So again, as we saw for n minus one pairs, we have n minus one into two points plus two because we have now after placing a P3, we have increased two points, uh, two spaces to actually place them. So ultimately, I will have n two into n number of possible locations to place my D3. But again, as I showed here that I will have these all the options, which means D3 can come before P3 also and D3 can come after P3 also. So basically, as we are only concerned about placing a D3 and a P3. So right now, as I was placing a D3, so basically in half of the cases, D3 will be before P3 and in half of the cases, D3 will be after P3. And for me, this half is not required. I only want this half. So ultimately, out of this two n options, I only need these half options, which is the n choices I need. So after placing my p1 in 2 into n minus 1 base, I will actually go and place my d, which means after placing my p uh, point I've, with the 2 into n minus 1 base, I'll go and place my d point with those n ways and by this i can ultimately get my answer again that is all what we need to learn from this particular problem that is pretty much it now we can actually go and code it but still meanwhile for for you guys i'll show and try on a small example which we saw above so ultimately you saw that okay after you have got for the n minus one pairs after you have got the number of phase for the nth pair for the nth pair what you will do is you will simply whatsoever answer you have for the n minus one number of pairs uh, you will just simply go and multiply that answer with placing p pn and then placing dn and this it was a 2 into n but we divided by 2 because we want dn to be placed only after pn and that's how you can simply get your answer Again, uh, that is only a simple multiplication. Why multiplication I showed you earlier also? Because we want everything to happen one after the another. Again, the same example we will take n equal to 3. Uh, for n equal to 3, for sure, we will start off building from scratch. First pair and then second pair and then third pair. And answer will keep on multiplying because for n equal to 3, I want all the pairs to be there. For first pair, as we saw uh, that we have only one. But still, just to verify with our particular algorithm, 
we just use this and still even if in some cases when you have built a formula and that does not satisfy your base cases so you can just hard code your base cases and start from like two example for example maybe it can happen that whatsoever formula you have made it is not applicable on the base case which means n equal to one so you can hard code that and you can start off with directly n equal to two right that is something which you have to keep on while doing the programming itself and there's chances whatsoever and there are multiple ways to solve it see it's just one of the ways i landed you it's the most intuitional way i landed you to this particular formula but again there are multiple ways to land it to a multiple formula as to actually solve this particular problem and there are multiple explanations also but yeah i showed the most intuitive most most <clears throat> of this ones cool uh, as i showed you that okay we have one from the existing answer we'll just carry forward this which means for no as such no pairs at all although it's not a condition but even if it had been a condition so for no uh points i will still have a one like as an empty uh valid combination so that's also one case for that we'll simply just have a one multiplied now again uh two into i minus one into i and that's simply a one for the second pair now now the game the fun part starts as we showed you we'll just previously multiply it's for the first pair number of ways for that but now i'm concerned about the second pair so for second pair by the formula you can easily see that okay it will come as three into two which is actually six but logically what we saw of that okay if we have p1 and d1 then we will have three options to place in so three ways for that and when we have placed that p or like anything as a p2 so we will have got four options so but four options are there but ultimately the good ones are just the two ones because i just want in half of the ways uh d2 will be before p2 and half of the ways uh d2 will be after p2 so simply you will see it is just two ways and that's how you got a six for your two pairs now for the for three pairs again for the two pairs, I already have got the answer. For the third pair, I just simply found my answer with the simple formula which we have made above. Right? That same formula. That's the same formula. That's the same formula, right? That's the same exact same formula. And just to have a verification, if we have four points, we will have five ways. And you can see that's a five. But as soon as I placed a P3 here, I will have now six points, right? Now for six points, again, I will have divided by two, which is actually a three. And that's how I will simply get a 90. Cool. And let's quickly have a jump as a code. It's pretty simple and pretty short. Uh, simply initializing your answer by one. Uh, and you know that you will have to do modulo at every step. So you had modulo for you as well. Again, a simple formula as we showed above. And then we simply had the answer return. Again, time is over fun, space is over fun because we are not using any extra space at all. I hope that you guys got it. It was the most intuitive stuff which I could see and see. Again, it's, it, it was an easy one. If you had just put a slight, all math problems are a bit hard for many of you guys, but that's okay. It's all about programming. Maths will for sure come in. It's good to actually um, get like familiar with it rather than running away from it. I have seen. I, have, I had also been running away from PNC and math stuff, but I highly recommend not to do it. Cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in a moment. Bye. Take care. Bye bye.